Hey guys, it's me Sydney and welcome back to my channel. I am filming another video because I feel like I'm finally ready to talk about this. And I mean, I wasn't ready to talk about anything up until like two to three weeks ago when I posted the first video that kind of like made me realize what I was going through and then like everything that led up to it. I was just like holding everything in. And a lot of you guys were like, hey, I'm going through the same thing. You know, you're not alone. And I really don't feel as alone now. I do feel lost and empty, but I feel like I have some type of direction to go in. So with that being said, I just figured, you know what? It's finally time to open up about this. And I'm basically showing you guys all the bad parts of me right now. And I promise it does get better. I promise that like I am working on myself right now and I'm working on this specific issue. Um and i am getting help for it and like i'm not i'm not just like saying that i'm getting help like i'm genuinely getting help for it so with that being said i have a lot of issues i'm going through right now um and some of them could be like connected and i think a lot of them are connected but this one is like something that like i'm really struggling with just because i mean it's for someone that's trying to lose weight it really messes with your mind because right now um I'm like trying to lose weight for summer but like I'm not trying to do it this way obviously and I'm not really losing weight right now but like my body just like I feel sick all the time and it's just it really sucks so I want to give you guys some backstory um I do struggle with bulimia and binging and I've been open about binging um which binge eating disorder is basically where you like can't you uncontrollably eat you binge all your food Binging and bulimia is when you binge it all, you eat it all, and then you purge and you th make yourself throw up after. So I've hit the point right now where like I don't even have to put my finger down my throat, which is kind of scary. Like I literally just throw it all up. Um, and my stomach constantly hurts and I don't know if that's because of the, bi the binging and purging or I haven't really binged recently, that's the thing. I don't really binge right now i've been really good about that because like i know that if i do that then i'll purge and like it's just a really bad vicious cycle and um so like i'm really struggling with that and it's one of those things where it's like i don't want to tell you guys that because like i don't want you guys to think that it's something that like i have control over because yes i have control over like working on not doing it but now that my body is like not taking food in like okay so a really good example i'm just going to talk in this video because I feel like it's an easy way to get it out there and maybe someone that has struggled with this before can give me advice or tell me hey like this is you know gonna help so the past month um, it got really really bad because I mean I've been having anxiety I've been dealing with a lot of other things but I like will go out to eat and I have not I've, I stopped purging for a while like I was not purging all the time I've been dealing with the binging and purging for like five years now but like no one really found out about it besides when I was like maybe a sophomore in high school one person found out maybe some other people knew but they never like said anything to me and other than that I was like really good at hiding it and um yeah so like it wasn't it wasn't something that was like common knowledge my mom just found out recently when she like caught me doing it because she heard me from upstairs from I was upstairs and she was downstairs and like that kind of sucked um but yeah no I've just been dealing with it a lot of things and so like recently this past month I have been, had an overload of things but also my digestive I don't know if it's digestive issues or what but like when I go out to eat now I take a few bites of my food and then I feel instantly sick like it doesn't even hit my stomach it literally just hits my mouth and like the food makes me sick so last night I had sushi the night before that I had Chinese which I never had this problem before where like food would make me incredibly sick like I would just go into the bathroom and then I'd be like gassy but then I would and I wouldn't have like digested the food like it's not in my intestines at that point it's like two bites in and I'm already sick um and so I feel like it's a mental thing, but I'd be like gassy and then I'd throw up like instantly and I wouldn't have to put my finger to my throat. Sometimes like it's just like a thing that it's a it's not I'm not trying to take this like lightly, but it's it's like something that just happens for me. Like I just do it out of instinct after doing it for so long. But like most of the time this past month, I've not done it on my own. Um, I've only done it on my own twice this past month and I've been really trying to be aware of not doing it and I, I'm kind of ashamed of telling you guys this and that's probably why I've never really talked about this because it's something that I struggle with so much like I didn't even want my own family and my friends to know 
no one really knew there was one one of my best friends when i was in high school knew about it uh we and she freaked out on me and like i didn't want a reaction like that because it's like hard because like I don't know it's just really hard so i've been struggling with that and i've been getting a lot better like you guys it goes in waves like i'll get really good nothing wrong i'll be great and then it'll just downward spiral and i'll do it like five times in a week or twice in a month or it'll just like go in waves so, like sometimes i won't do it at all sometimes i will but like this past month i don't know if it's because i used to do it so much that now my body just like throws up or if it's because I seriously have a food issue and I really don't know anymore because like I feel like I'm scared to eat out now Because like when I eat in this morning, I had a fiber bar, which is not healthy just for the record when you guys like get into like later on in this video um I ate that because I didn't want to be like starving when I went out because um I'm gonna go to the grocery store probably or I'm gonna go to a vegan uh, healthy restaurant and like a vegan plant-based restaurant and I didn't want to be like starving so I ate that because I'm at my boyfriend's house right now and I was just like I didn't feel sick eating that but like when I eat in my house I'm fine but when I eat out I immediately feel sick I feel like I need to go to the bathroom I feel like I need to just like get rid of it and it kind of sucks like I don't know if it's my mind playing tricks on me or if like I have some type of like digestive issues or whatever the heck it is but there's something that's definitely going on with my food problems like i don't know what it is if you guys have you know any ideas or if you guys are like hey try this method try fixing it this way i would really appreciate it but um my the change that i'm making in my life right now is i'm going from being a carnivore to being a herbivore herbivore and um you guys are probably like sydney that's crazy i really didn't want to talk about this i'm not going vegan but i'm going plant-based slowly so i'm taking it really slow you guys like right now i am i'm not sure um what my body is going to take and what's not but i know that i feel good when i eat fruits and vegetables and i know that i don't feel that bad i know that sometimes i feel bloated when i eat them so like i just need to like eat and see how it goes i guess but that's kind of like where i'm headed right now um and right now i'm in california so like they have a lot of options here arizona does too and i know them because i'm from arizona so when I get back to AZ, I'll be eating a lot more and I'll be cooking uh, and I get back on Monday So that won't be hard, but For this the rest of this trip. I'm just gonna be eating, uh, you know more conscious trying to transition um, Chicken and milk like chicken and dairy are probably like the hardest thing to cut out. So like I'm doing it really slowly <sighs> Because I don't I don't know how my body's reacting and I want to be able to know like okay adding this into my diet and taking this out is you know working it's making me feel better so I also do know that like when I eat healthy plant-based foods I don't feel as sick um, and that's what I've noticed so that's what I'm trying today this is like the first meal that I'm eating out that's gonna be plant-based so I'm gonna I'm gonna go to a plant-based restaurant by myself and just see how I feel and then I'm gonna go to the beach but my big thing is like I really hope I don't get sick because I've been getting sick for the past month every restaurant I go to and then that makes me hate going out to eat I really don't want to go out to eat anyway so it's kind of a blessing in disguise but like at the same time it's like I don't want I want to just be able to say no because I want to feed my goals otherwise but just because I don't know how to work the kitchen stuff in his house I like don't really want to test the limit with that um I'm just gonna go out to eat and I know that smoothies don't hurt my stomach either. So like for me personally, I am just trying to figure out like what foods are working, what foods aren't. And the reason why I want to go plant-based is for my own health. It's not really for ethics, but you never know what's going to happen over time. Um, but that's kind of like the basic thing. I've been struggling with bulimia for, you know, a decent amount of time. Like five years is a long time if you really think about it. And now I feel like it's been coming to more of a head. It's been coming to a, becoming a problem. Um my gag reflex you guys is like automatically i'll throw up it's and i used to never even have like a real gag reflex but because i would like stick my finger down my throat until i could like get myself to throw up i feel like it's made it more sensitive um so that really sucks and then yeah i mean i feel like that's like one of the like that's something that i've never really opened up to you guys about and i'm not crying in this video i just feel like i'm finally ready to talk about it 
Um, I'm probably gonna be talking about bulimia more on my channel and like my road to just like really recovering and not just sweeping it on the rug and then letting it come back um, and figuring out like what works for me. I downloaded the Happy Cow app, which basically it's, I think it's like Happy Purple Cow or something like that. But basically it's an app that tells you where like vegan restaurants, vegetarian restaurants are. And like, I'm saying that I'm vegetarian, not really vegetarian. I'm just saying that I'm going plant-based slowly and I'm taking baby steps. And a lot of people say just cold turkey it. Um, but the hard part is when you're traveling, like you don't want to be the picky person. Like I had sushi last night and I didn't want to say like, yeah, I just eat rice. And I also don't want my body composition to change too much. Um, but I can show you guys right now, like, this is what my body has changed to in the past month. I haven't really shown you guys this, because I feel like it's, like, I don't know, it's, like, kind of scary. So, hold on, we're adjusting. We're going to pull this bad boy up. Ooh. But this is what my body is kind of transformed to. And this is like after I've eaten something, drink water. I just feel like I'm leaner overall, but it's not for the right reasons, so. So yeah, I just wanted to show you guys that, cause eh. And these shorts are like so big on me but i just wanted to be honest with you guys and chat with you guys about that because i feel like it is really important i know that my mood's not the highest in a lot of my videos recently and i'm really sorry for that like you guys know when i'm vlogging and i'm doing like a day vlog i'm a lot happier um i think what i'm gonna do today is since i filmed this i'm gonna probably film like a music video not not a music video i'm gonna film a like playlist for workouts maybe like a cardio playlist today i feel like that would be fun and yeah i mean that's like basically what's going on right now and that's what i'm struggling with so um i hope that you guys enjoyed this video if you did don't forget to like comment subscribe if you guys still want to be part of the summer challenge it is not too late you guys can sign up in the link down below all the summer challengers are losing weight i have some that have lost nine pounds some that have lost three it's like super awesome i'm excited for them um and other than that i'm gonna go get out of the house now because i feel like once i get out of the house i feel better um i'm gonna go make myself eat it is currently almost 10 o'clock and i had a fiber bar and it's not that late but i just want to like hit the road and find a good restaurant sit down do some work um and then hit the beach around like two or one or 12. i don't really know yet but i'm gonna try and get some sun because like i know i don't get sun very often you guys and since i'm here anyway i figured you know the beach would probably be a good idea but i'm gonna go alone just like listen to my music lay on the beach and yeah i'm just i'm just gonna chill i'm just gonna have a good good time i'm gonna eat really well today um yesterday i had a caramel macchiato which is not plant-based so don't think that i'm well actually technically i don't know about caramel but i know that um i had almond milk today it wasn't even that good but i had that and i was like oh this is gross i just want my tea and i want my water but I don't even know if I'm gonna have tea today. We'll see, we'll see. But anyways, I'm gonna end the video here. I love you guys so much. Um, I'm probably gonna daily vlog the rest of today and I'm probably also gonna film the music, a cardio video, and then yeah, if you guys have any video requests, feel free to leave them down below. I really wanna give you guys content you guys actually wanna see rather than me just like constantly crying about my life right now, which I feel like I've been doing. Um, but I've been really implementing a routine. I'm excited to show you guys my new morning routine when I get more into it. And I'm gonna meditate a little later today. You guys are gonna see that. And um, yeah, so I love you guys so much and I'll talk to you guys later. Thank <laughs> you.